Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one, Christian. God. What's up, guys? It's River Rat Productions, and today uh, I'm here with Dylan, and I'm here with Christian, too. And today, we are going to Tennessee, and we are going to be fishing the Little Pigeon River, and we are going to be targeting some big smallmouth today, and hopefully we can get on some. Uh, we kind of are going in a little bit blind, but not really, because like this river that we're going to fish, the pigeon starts in our county that we live in, and uh, it runs down through Tennessee and all that. And we're going to be fishing the little pigeon where it runs through. We're going to be throwing like quite a bit of different lures today. Uh, we're mainly going to be throwing like the Ned Rig, I would think. Maybe like some square bills. I don't know if we can use square bills here, so I'm going to have to clarify that. And if I can't figure it out, then we probably just won't throw them or any treble hook baits because this uh, river has a lot of trout in it. And that's what mainly people fish for out of it is trout, but smallmouth are really well known too. And we haven't been here before, so we don't really know what's gonna work too, too much. Uh, we're just gonna kind of just go with what we feel is right and what's gonna work. And we're just gonna go from there. So if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram and also uh, follow Dylan here on Instagram. I'll link that down below both the links and I'll also link his channel so you guys can check that out but all right guys I'll see you here in a second Caught this beautiful smallie second cast. Look at the freaking belly on it. Second cast under this tree. Nice shade. Flipped it under there, skipped it, and let it kind of go with the current. And I was just about to reel it in. That's when I felt a hard tug. He got it and ran. And I was trying to fight him. There was one about at least uh, way bigger than this one, so easily at maybe two and a half, three. God, look at that belly. Caught him on a wacky red flake, green pumpkin red flake. Right back to the deep. Oh. Awesome job, Christian. Oh. Christian just caught uh, that nice small mouth, 2.2 pounds. We didn't get it on camera, but it's 2.2. Yeah, this is like perfect small that mouth. The pattern was beautiful too on it. It was. That was a bronze back right there. I want to catch one like that, but I want it to be, in order for it to break my PB, it has to be bigger than three pounds and six ounces. Well, God, look at that. Look at that, Dylan. Football. <laughs> Caught this beautiful smallie. Was able to, there's a lot of trees where we're fishing. Went down there to a nice little opening and flipped it out. First time I flipped it, he ate it and lost him when I went to set the hook and then sick, threw it in the second time. And he had it and then I set it and I thought he got off, but he came back to it. So they pulled this beauty. What color was that? Uh, it was the uh, green pumpkin red flake. That's what I've caught both of them on today. Awesome. On the, and just the zoom. Yeah. Sorry, like they haven't been on camera. He's been, uh, Fishing like different parts of the bank. Yeah, he's gonna get a little weight. Look at what he's eating. Look at his mouth, his mouth's red. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's bigger? Yeah, it looks like it. 2.7. The other one had a fat old belly. I've never the second time. Two and a half. Look at it. It's so pretty. Look at that fish. God. That was pretty sick. Now, if only I could catch one. <laughs> and Dylan. Guy include Dylan. Broke me off, too. That's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> All right, guys. So Christian's caught two. They've both been off camera. Um, still trying to catch my first one. Just one fish would make me happy, guys. Just one. It doesn't even have to be that big. I just want something to make this drive worth it. As we drove here, it was about an hour and a half drive from uh, where we live. 
and yeah we haven't fished this place before uh, this is actually the feeder for the river in our town this is a uh, it further down it's a little pigeon but it's still technically part of the pigeon it's it's still pretty similar to what we fish it's just in a different state and all that jazz did you just get one? No. Oh, wow, that's a nice one. Here, I'll hold your rod. Here, I'll pull him close to you. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one, Christian. God. Jesus Christ, man. Same two and a half, two, well, two and three, three eighths. Two and three eighths locked and loaded. I'll show them that pretty little bit. Woo! Look at those colors. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, how, I've been catching it just like the same. I've been catching every one of them. Uh, I'm using the wacky, letting it sit out there. And when I'm popping it, a lot of people they lift up. I'm giving it real quick movements. Maybe mix it between three, one, two. Do it real hard and then let it sit. they just going crazy for that fast movement but god that's a beauty that is a nice fish now if only me and dylan can have this look <laughs> it's beautiful right let's get our get a release on him get him back in the water it's a nice fish it's a nice hot day too so the fish are a little they're struggling to get back in the water It's like, you know, it's like she's ready to go. Awesome job, Christian. God, now we just gotta catch some, right? Right. <laughs> Tony, you, do the good on there and then flip it like right under that tree and then just let it sit there and like just let it give it those hard pops and just mix it up. And let, if you do it, just let it sit, dude. You'll get it, I'm telling you. Hey, guys. There we go, guys. Heck, hey Dylan, does that count? <laughs> rot bass. All right, guys, cut this little rot bass. Just gonna give him a little toss back so he can get back in the water. Thanks, little buddy. There he goes. So we just caught that rock bass, finally. Got my hands on a fish. All right, so we're gonna try around, kind of like this deeper section. This wind's kind of killing me here, but we'll deal with it. Oh, got us a fish, guys. Is it a smallie? Yes. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Oh, Dylan's got one too. Oh, double? Double. Come here, Dylan. We get to do our first double. That's small. That's not fair. Switch on <laughs> No. <laughs> no, that's not happening, Dylan. That's not how this works. Well, we got our, what is this, like our first double? I think we've had one other double before. I've never doubled up with anybody. Really? Oh, well. I guess we were close first. that one day because you was like at the camera and I was like, hold on. Oh yeah. But, yeah. but I missed him. Oh yeah, I remember. So two little smallies. I think mine's uh there's a tad bit longer. Yeah. Doesn't compare to Christian's though. Uh, I caught mine on the Canda Craw. You caught yours on the Molten? Oh, no. Green green pumpkin orange. Yeah, now we uh kinda don't look like, you know, fools fishing with Christian now. Well, Christian's we still really... kinda do, he's got the size, we just got the quantity at this point. Right. But we're gonna get these guys back. We're gonna throw them in and we're gonna keep fishing and we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna fish bump. <laughs> look, at, look at the different color patterns too. Look, look how much darker yours is than mine. I know, right? Well, they're about the same. Yeah. Yours, yours has dark spots right there. Yeah. It's getting back in the water though. See you, little buddy. Thank you for playing. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Um, had a pretty good day today in this one spot. Was right as soon as I got down here using the wacky. 
second cast caught a fish and a pretty good sized fish i think that one was two pounds two ounces i believe um, and then really tried after the bite got slowed down a little bit tried using you know going to the shaky head trying going to the ned rig you know tried almost using almost everything um then found myself going back to the wacky um, but just switching locations and was able to pull two pretty a little bit bigger ones both of them were actually about the same size two pounds and six ounces two pounds seven ounces so um but how i was doing it was i was just casting it trying to go because i know that a lot of times they were under the trees where shade was going to be it's more than out in the middle so i was casting it out under the trees and letting it sit for a second and how i would pop it is i'd pop it real real quick and hard and then i, I mean just those fish those smallies were loving the, i guess the real quick movement and then they were just demolishing it and just taking it and was able to pull them in um but yeah we're gonna get back to fishing and hopefully bring in some more hope you guys have a good one uh caught this i would say pretty but he's got some battle wounds um caught him on the ned rig just tossing it up against this dam and then I mean, they're just hitting it and dragging it, and then eventually just come out with a nice fish. But I'm gonna take a picture of him real quick and toss him back. It's a better look of him. Uh, he's definitely got some battle wounds on him though. I and mean, you can see he's got some puncture wounds. So I'm gonna hurry up and get him back in the water. Caught this nice little smallie um, on the green pumpkin goby uh, Ned rig again. Same thing I caught the last guy on. Um, they're loaded over here next to this dam, so. I'm gonna release him and get back in there. This makes three for me for the day. So we're gonna keep trying so we can land. Come on, cast over there. Got one. All right, guys, caught this uh, nice, pretty little smallmouth here. I caught it on uh, the green pumpkin goby, 10th ounce jig head. It looks like somebody's caught him before. He actually has a hook in his mouth. I'm gonna try to get it out before I release him. And yeah, it's a pretty nice little smallmouth. It's probably the, the better one I've caught today, so I can't be too upset, but uh, I'm gonna try to get this hook out. I'm gonna put him back in the water. Caught a nice little smallie. Um, this time it's on the blue claw um, finesse TRD instead of the uh, green pumpkin goby. I ended up breaking off on that one, so I just tried a different color. This is the first fish on it. Um, probably not the biggest one I've caught so far, um, but definitely a decent sized one. Very pretty. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of him real quick and then send him on his way. All right, so to catch him, I'm pretty much just tossing it up against this wall over here. Um, it's, it, it's a dam. Um, and that there's a there's a slack pool kind of right, right right here, and you can actually see there's huge carp swimming around down there. Um, there's a bunch of minnow and small bluegill stuff like that just hanging out. Um, so I'm just throwing the TRD, and these guys are just tearing it up over there. I mean, I started the day off with one fish total. Now I'm up to four in just a matter of 20 minutes. So I'm gonna send him on his way and try to catch some more. GoPro just died. I thought that was mine. I was like, No. Huh? Come on. Come here. Come on. All right, guys. So I caught this smallmouth right here. Uh, caught it on the green pumpkin goby again. He just absolutely inhaled it behind that rock over there. And he just, he took it and ran. I had to pull him up over the rock. I thought I was going to lose him, but it's all good. We kept him. He's kind of bleeding pretty bad, so I probably won't take a picture of this little guy. So uh, I'm just going to release him. Got one? Oh, he does. Oh! First shaky head fish. Caught this beautiful little smallie on a shaky head. First fish on a shaky head. Just casted it. Where we're fishing there's a lot of it's a waterfall so there's a lot of kind of a lot of stuff going on a lot of structure at the bottom there's a this nice little rock that goes across and casted it the first time got hit he actually had it was running with it but i got unbalanced and was trying to catch my balance so i couldn't set the hook threw that in there a second time and he just munched it and yeah but a little i mean 
size of my hand, maybe a little bit longer. But yeah, nice little smallie. Caught this little guy on a, was a shaky head, and he was on the Alabama crawl from Guggenbait Slim Shake. Look at that, perfect. Face down. Uh oh. Well, good job. I thought that was gonna get stuck. Caught this little smallie. Looks like he's been in a fight with a gar or something down here. Cause it's on both sides. Looks like he's been bit by like a gar. As you can see like the damage there and then the damage on that side. Hmm. I don't know. Something's definitely tried to eat him though. That's for sure. That or he, that or he scraped up against some rocks or something when I was reeling him in. But it's pretty little smallie. Let me get a quick release on him. Hurry and get him back out here. Where? The one right there. The little one right here. And another one that's just in front of here. Camera. I wonder if that goes to bed and caught though. Alright guys, caught this little small mouth. This is probably the best one of the spot here so far. Um sorry, I thought Christian had one there for a second. Um yeah, we it's a pretty good one. I caught it on the green pumpkin goby again. I uh, caught him out there again in the current. Um yeah, he has some pretty colors on him. That red eye. It honestly, like, this is probably one of the most beautiful fish you can catch. I love catching smallmouth. There's just something about how they fight. Even the size, like, they just, it's something. It's so much fun. If you guys have not fished smallmouth, you guys are missing out. Even if, but, they're, some, even if they're small, they still fight like they're three pounders. Yep. So, we're gonna get this guy back in the water. I don't know, that one might not have been a bad. That one might have been a all right guys caught this small mouth back to back cast um it caught on the green pump from goby again pretty much same spot uh i don't think it's the same fish i'm checking it doesn't look like it but uh yeah we're gonna get a nice little release on him i caught it on the green uh goby 10th ounce uh finesse shrooms jig head and yeah Smallmouth are so much fun to fight, and I'm super excited. I just keep catching them, so I'm gonna keep throwing it until I don't catch them anymore. So. All right, guys. So we had a pretty good day today. Uh, we were fishing the little pigeon over here in Tennessee, in Sevierville County, uh, near Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. Uh, we don't live too far away from here, and like I said earlier in the video, the this is the tailwater of the pigeon. This is technically the little pigeon here. But it's the feeder of it is the Pigeon River, which is from our area. It actually starts in our county. So that's how we kind of knew like what we were kind of doing today. It was still a new body of water technically, but same general fish species and uh, same lures and everything that works. And honestly, like it was perfect. Like we had a good day. Christian absolutely destroyed it today. Dylan did too, but Christian, he, he caught the size. He caught about a seven pound bag i think is what we were figuring up and it was honestly it's pretty impressive like and every fish they caught was 30 minutes apart so all those big fish he caught 30 minutes apart and honestly i was pretty surprised because i was looking at the timestamps on my phone i was like oh wow like i can't believe he did that and we just basically fished shade and we looked for deep pockets and that's how we were successful today it's because we just we pulled out fish and we knew where to look and that's the one main important thing I want you guys to take away from this video is to know where to look for fish because not everywhere is going to hold fish. So we'll make a video about that in the future. Also with the Google Earth and I'll show you guys how to find spots and I'll show you about like fish brain and everything and it'll be perfect. But if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Also follow on Dylan on Instagram. I'll link all that down below and I'll also link his channel too. And you guys can check out his channel because uh, he's going to be uploading some uh, footage from this video. And yeah, we're going to end it right here. So uh, it was a fun day. It was hot. It's like it's 90 degrees right now. So yeah, we're going to sit in the nice AC uh, and we're going to cool off. And we're going to drive home. So see you soon.